What's happening, everybody? I'm Steve, and welcome back to Junk Drummer TV, where I give my initial reactions, my analysis, and my hot takes on the drummers of today and yesterday, and maybe tomorrow if I stick around that long. I'm a professional drum teacher and a gigging musician, and I have been for 20 plus years. I am still suffering through the fog that is the flu, but I just took a shot of some adult juice, so hopefully that'll get me through this video. Today's video is a classic reaction video because I don't know anything about this guy or the band. We're going to be watching the Norwegian drummer Bord Kolstad, or Kolstad, from the band Leprous. I only know that Bord Kolstad is a drummer and that Leprous is a band because of Wikipedia and because of the commenter who has very adamantly and many times asked me to do this video, Miss Ammon Roth. I think I'm saying that right. I told you I'd get to it. Just always be patient with me. So, since I know nothing about this guy, there's no reason for any of my long preambles that some of you commenters don't appreciate. So before we get into it, let me remind you to give me a like, comment, and share. Give me a double tap on the subscription and the notification bell. Please check out my PayPal donation and my Patreon if you'd like to, again, help me purchase even more cold and flu medicine. So let's get into it. Okay, so off the bat, this guy claims to be Norwegian, and I don't see any corpse paint at all. So we're in 12-8 or 6-8, whichever, you know, that always depends on what the phrase of the music is. I always try to think of 6-8, 12-8, same thing. Okay, so, uh, you know, just kind of getting into it. I'm not really getting what kind of band this is yet. Uh, but one of the things he's doing, you know, he's he's running, uh, uh, you know, just triplets over 12-8. Uh, and he's he's playing he's something, doing some kind of sneaky here on the hi-hat. He's playing the quarter note triplet. So he's playing every other triplet note. So if you're thinking, you know, one lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly, one lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly, one. That's what he's doing with his uh, left foot. And that just makes this groove just, uh, just a little bit more complex, a little more stacked up. Now he's playing it every triplet. Now he's playing that hi-hat on every note. Yes, Damon Roth, thank you so much, because this is a style of groove that we haven't really had on the channel, and I cannot wait to explain what he's playing right here. He's playing a halftime shuffle. And one of the fastest quarter note tri uh, shuffles I've ever seen. So now he's playing that quarter note triplet on his right hand. Okay, so yeah, I guess it's kind of like a prog band. It's prog metal with some uh, with some really nice clear vocals. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Okay, so this dude can play, and yeah, any of you guys out there want to kind of see his pinkies flying off that that stick a little bit? Pfft, who cares? When you're playing that good, you can get by with a little technique stuff like that. If you're a mediocre drummer, better technique helps you to not be as mediocre. This guy's obviously not a mediocre drummer. So let's talk about what the main groove of this is. I'm so glad I finally got one. Blake Richardson played one for just a second. It wasn't really enough for me to like stop the video and explain. He's playing a halftime shuffle, kids. 
if you don't know what that feels or sounds like, it is Full in the Rain by Led Zeppelin. It is Rosanna by Toto. It is uh, Babylon Sisters by Steely Dan with Bernard Pretty Purdy, who, you know, is kind of the inventor of this groove. You know, the, the you know some people just call it the Purdy Shuffle. So let's talk about that. Yes, Hammond Roth, you're my hero for finally getting something on, uh, for finally getting this groove on the channel. It's one of my all-time favorite grooves. I've actually kind of over-recorded this in my recording career. Every chance a song uh, that is a shuffle, I look for a place to uh, uh, put a halftime shuffle at the end of this video. I'll actually tell a story about that. So here's what's going on here. This is a great, one of my all-time favorite grooves, and he's doing it hyper fast. I've never really heard a halftime shuffle played this fast. This is where your your rudimental stick control comes in handy when you're playing these kind of grooves. You know, uh, uh, you know. I know do, doing this all on one uh, uh, surface. Think of my right hand being a hi hat. The 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 basic rhythm he's doing is he's going. So he's taking like that usual shuffle that you're playing that you would play. And he's filling in with his left hand with ghost notes and then accenting the two and four. Right? If you think about that rudimentally, think about what your stickings are on that. That makes it a whole lot easier to think about. So the sticking of that is you're going right, left, right, right, left, right, both. Right, left, right, right, left, right, both. Right, left, right, right, left, right, both. <clears throat> and that is a good start uh, uh, to be able to play halftime shuffles. Again, those songs that I mentioned earlier are kind of the classic examples of it. He's playing like this like hyper sped up version of it. And it man, it takes some big, big boy chops to play that. Yeah, I didn't think they had any other music in Roy besides like black metal. That's cool. I don't like doing a lot of videos of playthroughs because, like, again, when you're not playing with a band in the same room, <laughs> it's kind of like playing drums with a condom on. I like a lot of the rim stuff he's been doing. Power metal with stuff going on. I like, I've never really heard a, a halftime shuffle with some double bass stuff in there. Man, this takes a lot of chops to keep that groove up. Woo. Oh, oh, shit. Now he's playing the halftime shuffle and then accenting the quarter note triple over top of it. So giving it like. A feel of like almost like you're playing in four right there because you're playing every other eighth note instead of thinking of it as three eighth notes. Vertos right there, one of our channel favorites. Man, I really love playing in 12 8. You can just do a lot of things in 12 8 that you can't do in it's a lot easier to make 4-4 four four feel like, or it's a lot easier to make 12-8 feel like 4-4. Four four. That's real proggy. That was a real proggy ending. I hear you, man. I didn't know Norwegian musicians played without corpse paint. Uh, that's cool, man. I'm, gl I'm glad I got to check that out again. It's one of the reasons I uh, started this uh, channel was to give me a reason to check out new stuff. Never heard of Leprous. I've never heard of Bored Kolstad or Bored Kolstad. Uh, again, I only know that first name because the commenter uh, told me how to spell it. Uh, Halftime, Shuffles, baby. They're almost uh, like a dying art. You don't really... That's the first time I've heard kind of a, a newer Halftime Shuffle with the whole song being built around that in a long time, you know, you always think of like 70s halftime shuffles and, of course, Rosanna's in the 80s. Uh, check out those 
songs that I mentioned earlier, Babylon Sisters, of course, you've heard Full in the Rain by Led Zeppelin, and, you know, Rosanna is the one that everyone always thinks about. There's many more. Steely Dan has a, has a few songs that have, uh, there's one on Asia I can't think of right now that even has Purdy playing the halftime. Shuffle. So uh, let's get into that story about how I love halftime shuffle so much. And I try to, when I'm going in the studio, I'm always trying to do something that, you know, that isn't the ordinary. And that a lot of times for, especially for this day and age, is playing halftime shuffles. And I have been guilty of doing it too much. Uh, I was in Nashville recording what will eventually be a solo record that I've been working on for the last like three years. Uh, just all these other projects are getting in the way of it i'll finish it eventually but the song was you know a shuffle and that's actually like a slow shuffle that's what was different about this one is a lot of times your halftime shuffles are real laid back and groovy This one was hyper fast, but uh, the song we were recording, uh, which is a song that I wrote with one of my best friends, and it was, you know, it was a shuffle. And uh, the first verse, you know, played it at straight like that, you know, just, mm -mm. and it wasn't a blues song, but that was the, the groove. And then uh, the second time, I was like, well, it, it's about time for Steve to put his halftime shuffle in this fucking song. So I make the second verse, you know. Mm. Do the you know do the take do the take and the guys I'm recording with are were guys that I've recorded probably seven or eight records with uh, five with a couple of them and seven or eight with the others and they had heard that halftime shuffle for me a lot and uh, you know finish the track and that's when you take a moment to you know assess what you just did and <laughs> I hear in the in the cans in the in the the headphones it's what far out recording artists call the cans. I hear John and Jimmy go, he's fucking playing a halftime shuffle again. We got to get him off that. And I and they're trying to say it low enough for me not to hear it. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit, you know what? They're right. And so to, 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 to make it seem like, yeah, guys, we're on the same level. Uh, I hit the talk back and I was like, hey, guys, you know what, man? I don't think that halftime shuffle's working. And you hear both of them go, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, we agree 100%. Uh, so, yeah, that was, that's, my, that's my story about halftime shuffle. Uh, it's, a, it's a dying art. And this guy took it to like uh, the Red Bull energy level. You don't really see halftime shuffles played that fast. Uh, thank you to the commenter who uh, suggested him. That was cool. You know, is Leprous a band that's big in, in America? I think the commenter that, that uh, suggested this, I think, is from Europe. Uh, so I don't even know if they're really big here. Uh, are they? Let me know in the comments. So, halftime shuffles, baby. And if you're going to be from Norway and you're going to play metal, you better get that corpse paint on, son. So if you enjoyed all that, please give me a like, comment, and share. Please check out my Patreon. Please check out my PayPal. And give me a double tap on the subscription and the, not and the notification bell. And remember, shuffle, shuffle, baby, until your bandmates are sick of you doing it. And keep practicing until it's easy.